The deck of an aircraft carrier is one of the most dangerous workplaces on Earth, where precision and teamwork are everything. On these giant aircraft carriers, the fighter jets land at speeds over 150 miles per hour, with their tail hooks ready to snag one of the arresting cables stretched across the deck. Most landings go as planned, but every now and then, things might go wrong. For a brief moment, everything seems routine, but then, disaster strikes. With a deafening snap, the cable breaks, sending the jet hurtling down the deck uncontrollably, and chaos erupts. The crew scrambles for safety, and the pilot has seconds to respond. These are the moments no one wants to experience, but everyone is trained for. The arresting cable system is one of the most vital pieces of technology aboard an aircraft carrier. It's designed to bring 50,000-pound jets to a full stop in just a few seconds, turning what would otherwise be an impossible landing into a breathtaking display of precision. It's an incredible feat of engineering, but like any system, it's not foolproof. For example, the arresting wires can degrade over time causing fractures and other material failures. And when this system fails, the results can be catastrophic. Today, we'll break down what happens when an arresting cable snaps during landing. We'll revisit a real-life incident that shook the crew of the USS Eisenhower, explore the incredible technology and training behind these operations, and uncover the lessons learned to prevent such failures in the future. This is a story about resilience, precision, and innovation. Stay tuned to discover how these moments of crisis shape the future of naval aviation. The arresting cable system is one of the most critical components of an aircraft carrier's operations. It's a simple concept at its core, but executed with incredible precision and engineering. Without this system, Landing a fighter jet on the short deck of a moving carrier, barely longer than a football field, would be impossible. These cables, also known as arrestor wires, are made of high-strength steel alloys designed to handle unimaginable forces. Each cable can stop a 50,000-pound jet traveling at over 150 miles per hour in just two seconds, covering about 300 feet. That's less than the length of a city block. So here's how it works. When a fighter jet approaches for landing, its tail hook, which is a steel hook attached to the aircraft's rear, aims to snag one of these cables stretched across the flight deck. When this tail hook successfully catches the cable, it pulls it tight, transferring the immense force to a series of hydraulic engines hidden below the deck. These engines absorb and dissipate the jet's kinetic energy, bringing it to a controlled stop. It's not just brute strength at play here, it's also precise technology. Sensors embedded in the system continuously monitor the aircraft's speed, weight, and approach angle, adjusting the tension on the cables in real time. This ensures a smooth, safe stop for the jet and prevents unnecessary strain on the system. For pilots, landing on a carrier is one of the most challenging tasks they'll ever face. The margin for error is razor thin. They have to hit the deck at just the right angle, speed, and alignment to catch the wire. Missing it, or worse, catching it improperly, can lead to a dangerous situation, from an aborted landing to a catastrophic failure. But the arresting cable system is more than just a technological marvel. It's a lifeline. Without it, the idea of landing jets on a moving ship would remain a fantasy. It's what turns a high-stakes moment into a breathtaking feat of precision. In most cases, this system works seamlessly, day after day, it allows naval aviators to perform one of the most dangerous jobs in the world with confidence. But what happens when this system, designed to stop a 50,000-pound jet, suddenly fails? That's when the real test begins, for the technology, the crew, and the pilots who must navigate through chaos. One such incident occurred on March 18, 2016, aboard the USS Dwight Eisenhower, a Nimitz-class aircraft carrier conducting routine flight operations 100 nautical miles off the coast of Norfolk, Virginia. The weather that day was clear, with light winds and calm seas, ideal conditions for carrier landings. At approximately 2 p.m., an E-2C Hawkeye, call sign Screwtop 601, approached the Eisenhower after completing a five-hour surveillance mission. The Hawkeye, a critical component of the carrier's air wing, 
is easily recognizable by its rotating radar dome and is often referred to as the eyes and ears of the fleet. As Screwtop 601 entered the landing pattern, everything seemed normal. The pilot followed standard procedures, receiving clearance from the landing signal officers on the flight deck. The call came, signaling that the pilot had visual contact with the optical landing system and was on the correct approach path. As the Hawkeye crossed the ship's stern, its tail hook engaged the fourth arresting wire, the final cable on the flight deck. But then, disaster struck. With a sound described by witnesses as a mix of a gunshot and a metallic screech, the cable snapped under the extreme tension. What followed was sheer chaos. The Hawkeye, now without the critical means to decelerate, continued down the deck at high speed. The pilot immediately executed a bolter maneuver, a standard emergency procedure where the aircraft increases throttle to take off again and attempt another landing. This quick response prevented a catastrophic overrun into the ocean. Meanwhile, the snapped cable recoiled violently, whipping across the flight deck with tremendous force. Deck crew, trained to react in such emergencies, dropped to the ground for cover. Despite their training, the explosive energy released by the snapping cable caused injuries to eight sailors on the deck. The most severe injury was a skull fracture sustained by a sailor when part of the cable struck his helmet with such force that it even cracked the protective gear. Medical teams on board sprang into action, triaging and stabilizing the injured. The most critically injured sailor was airlifted to a shore-based hospital for advanced treatment, while the ship's medical staff managed the care of the others. The flight deck itself was left littered with damage, Several parked aircraft sustained punctures and damage to sensitive electronic systems from flying metal fragments. The arresting gear system suffered significant damage, with the failed cable and associated machinery requiring complete replacement. This caused a temporary halt to flight operations, impacting the carrier's mission readiness. The financial toll of the incident, including medical expenses, repairs, and operational delays, was estimated in the millions of dollars. But beyond the physical and financial costs, the incident had a profound psychological impact on the crew. Many sailors reported increased anxiety during subsequent flight operations, a stark reminder of the inherent dangers they face daily. So, what happens after an arresting cable snaps? The aftermath of the cable failure on the USS Eisenhower rippled through every aspect of the carrier's operations. The immediate chaos on the flight deck was just the beginning, with the arresting cable system damaged, flight operations came to an abrupt halt. Landing and takeoff capabilities were suspended until the failed cable and its hydraulic components could be replaced. A complex and time-consuming process. For a carrier operating in critical regions, even a temporary disruption can compromise mission readiness. The damage extended beyond the arresting gear. Fragments from the snapped cable struck parked aircraft, puncturing fuselages and damaging sensitive electronic systems. Repair costs climbed into the millions, compounded by the expenses for medical treatment of injured sailors and the operational downtime. The human impact was also profound. Eight sailors were injured during the incident, with one sustaining a skull fracture from the cable's violent recoil. For the crew, this wasn't just a physical challenge, it was an emotional one. Witnessing such a failure left many with heightened anxiety during subsequent flight operations, a stark reminder of the risks they face every day. Incidents like these resonate far beyond a single carrier. The Navy launched a fleet-wide review of arresting gear systems and maintenance protocols, using the lessons learned from the Eisenhower to enhance safety and reliability. This event underscored the importance of rigorous checks, streamlined procedures, and redundancy systems like backup arresting wires and emergency barricades. So how does the Navy respond to such emergencies? With lives at stake and the deck in chaos, every second counts. But this isn't a situation the Navy faces unprepared. Every crew member, system, and procedure is part of a carefully crafted plan designed to handle emergencies like this. Let's take a closer look at how the Navy turns chaos into control. On the flight deck, Every crew member is trained to act immediately in the event of an arresting cable failure. During the Eisenhower incident, this training was put to the test. Within seconds of the cable snapping, deck crew members dropped to the ground to avoid the recoiling cable, a maneuver drilled into them through countless safety exercises. This quick reaction minimized further injuries. Once the immediate danger is contained, 
the crew shifts focus to securing the area and assessing damage. Emergency teams are mobilized to tend to the injured, and the damage system is isolated to prevent further complications. For pilots, quick thinking is just as crucial. When the cable failed during the Hawkeye's landing, the pilot immediately executed a bolter maneuver, throttling up to take off again and circle back for another landing attempt. This response is a standard emergency procedure taught in simulators, where pilots train for various failure scenarios, including arresting gear malfunctions. Carriers are equipped with multiple layers of redundancy to handle such situations. In addition to the four arresting cables, emergency barricades, large nets that can stop an aircraft, are ready to be deployed if the primary systems fail entirely. These safety measures ensure that even in the most extreme circumstances, there's a fallback option. Preparation doesn't stop with equipment. Flight deck crews and pilots participate in regular drills to simulate emergency scenarios. These exercises include cable failures, fires, and even aircraft crashes. The goal is simple, to react instinctively and efficiently when things go wrong. While arresting cables have been a cornerstone of aircraft carrier operations for decades, the technology behind them has continually evolved to meet the demands of modern naval aviation. Today's systems are a far cry from their early counterparts, incorporating cutting-edge materials and advanced engineering. The cables used today are made from high-strength steel alloys designed to handle the immense forces of landing jets. These materials are lighter, more durable, and capable of withstanding greater stresses than earlier designs. This evolution ensures that the cables can reliably stop even the heaviest aircraft under challenging conditions. Modern arresting gear systems are equipped with advanced sensors that monitor key parameters like cable tension, aircraft speed, and approach angle in real time. This data is fed into computerized control systems that make instantaneous adjustments, optimizing performance and reducing wear on the equipment. These systems also provide early warnings for maintenance, ensuring potential issues are addressed before they lead to failures. A major leap forward in arresting technology is the Advanced Arresting Gear, or AAG, introduced on the Ford-class carriers. Unlike traditional hydraulic systems, the AAG uses electric motors and water turbines to absorb and dissipate energy. This design offers greater reliability, requires less maintenance, and can handle a wider range of aircraft types, from lightweight drones to heavy jets. However, this innovation also introduces new challenges. The complexity of the AAG demands more specialized training for maintenance crews and pilots, ensuring they can adapt to the nuances of the system. The evolution of arresting systems isn't just about improving reliability, it's also about preparing for what's next. With the rise of unmanned aerial vehicles, UAVs, and potential developments in hypersonic aircraft, arresting gear technology must continue to advance. These systems will need to handle new aircraft designs, faster speeds, and potentially higher landing forces, all while maintaining the safety and efficiency carriers rely on. Incidents like the one aboard the USS Eisenhower serve as powerful reminders of the risks inherent in naval aviation. But they also drive change. Following the failure, the Navy conducted an extensive investigation that uncovered key maintenance errors. Improper tension adjustments in the hydraulic system were identified as the primary cause of the cable snapping. This discovery prompted a fleet-wide overhaul of maintenance protocols. Procedures were simplified to reduce human error, and technicians received enhanced training to handle the complex systems. Quality control measures were also strengthened, ensuring that even minor oversights could be caught before they escalated into critical failures. Beyond maintenance, the Navy revisited crew drills and response strategies, refining their approach to emergencies. These adjustments didn't just address the immediate lessons from the incident, they set a new standard for operational safety across the fleet. The lessons learned from incidents like these also shape the future of naval aviation. As the Navy looks ahead, new technologies are being integrated to prevent similar failures. Predictive maintenance tools powered by artificial intelligence are being tested to identify wear and tear on cables before they fail. At the same time, the development of advanced aircraft, like UAVs and hypersonic planes, means arresting systems must evolve to accommodate these new challenges. 
The advanced arresting gear is just the beginning of a new era, where technology and human skill work in tandem to push the boundaries of what's possible at sea. The arresting cable system may not be the most glamorous part of an aircraft carrier, but it's undeniably one of the most critical. It transforms impossible landings into routine operations, protecting lives and enabling missions. But as the incident aboard the USS Eisenhower showed, even the most advanced systems can fail. What stands out is how the Navy responds, from the bravery of the crew to the rigorous investigation and technological advancements that follow, every failure becomes an opportunity to improve. It's this relentless pursuit of excellence that keeps aircraft carriers at the forefront of naval power. So the next time you see a fighter jet land on a carrier deck, remember the precision, teamwork, and innovation that make it possible. It's a story of resilience, engineering, and the unwavering commitment to safety in one of the most dangerous workplaces on Earth. If you enjoyed learning about the incredible world of aircraft carriers and the challenges they face, be sure to like this video and subscribe to our channel so you don't miss our next deep dive. Also, what do you think about the future of naval aviation? We'd love to hear your thoughts.